Hi, my name is Karen Madison, and I'm here today as a teacher and a hypnotist to talk about the importance of criticizing cautiously. Now, how many of us have been criticized in our lifetime? All of us, right? And some of that was constructive, and some of it was not constructive. And some of it stuck, and some of it didn't stick. And if you think about all of the criticism that we receive in our lifetime, why does some of it stick and some of it doesn't? Well, it depends on whether it goes into the subconscious mind. So basically, in hypnotism, we talk about the unconscious as the subconscious, whereas psychologists use the word unconscious. So I'll be using the word subconscious. And if you think about the mind as a circle, the top of it would be the conscious mind, and between the conscious and the subconscious would be the critical faculty. And the critical faculty determines what information will be allowed into the subconscious. So this critical faculty acts as a gatekeeper that allows information into the subconscious. And this critical faculty develops around the time we're seven or eight years old. So until then, information can go directly into the subconscious. Children do not differentiate between fact and fiction because they don't have this critical thinking or selective thinking mechanism. And so information that is given to a child will go directly into the subconscious. And after that, things that are not in alignment with our beliefs and values will be bounced out by this gatekeeper. But there are ways to bypass this critical faculty. And one of them is hypnosis. So, of course, I can use hypnosis to bypass the critical faculty and go and work in someone's subconscious. Another way to bypass that is repetition, which, as you know, as teachers, you're using repetition in the classroom all the time. And, of course, advertising companies also know this, and they're using it all the time as well. But three other ones that you may not be aware of are authority figures, peer groups, and heightened emotion. And all three of these are also present in the classroom. So when you're in the classroom as the authority figure in front of a, a child or a student's peer group and using some kind of heightened emotion, that will bypass the critical faculty and go into the subconscious. And it will penetrate more deeply and stick with them and then shape the beliefs and values that they have about themselves in the future. So when you're giving criticism, in the classroom, it's important to keep these factors in mind, that you are using your position as an authority figure if you are criticizing someone in front of their peer group, and that brings on perhaps shame, which is a very powerful emotion, this information will go directly into their subconscious and be stored there. And many of us are perhaps not aware of how impactful that is, much more so than a child being criticized at home. At home, it might be more through repetition that things get into the subconscious, but in the classroom, these other factors are also in play. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, and if you'd like to know more about uh, hypnosis or hypnotism, my website is tokyohypno.com. Thank you very much.